From wildfires to tropical storms, the science tells us that anthropogenic climate change is the cause. But what can we do about it? Well, that's in the data too. To tell us how, I'm joined by Rice University's Kathy Inzor and Clemson's Whitney Kwong. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to have Yeah, such an important topic here. So many people are very passionate about this. Tell us how you've seen through the years statisticians and the impact they can have on anthropogenic climate change. So stat uh, the statistics profession has provided a leadership role in, how, in understanding this critical problem for the world. And, uh, and it's not just statisticians in the U.S., it's statisticians all over the globe. And um, developing the methods, uh, integrating the data and the climate models to really understand critical answers to how is the climate changing for our planet. Whitney, your thoughts? Yeah, so I, I would say uh, we actually uh, contribute quite a lot, but actually we need more statisticians to contribute that. And especially uh, given the fact that I think the most uh, authority part of uh, the climate change report is IPCC, so we actually need the more statistician to actually get involved to be, uh, because in the past we don't have many like uh, a lead author on the IPCC report, which I believe the statistician can actually greatly contribute on that. Let's talk about the range of the data that is being gathered and what are some of the challenges and how, how are statisticians working through that? Is it, yeah. yeah, so I think that's the most uh, exciting and interesting part that a statistician can, uh, can make a huge contribution because actually for the, uh, the, uh, the size underlying the climate research, there has a wide range of uh, different kind of data. So they have uh, output from climate model simulation they have uh, observation, they will also have a reanalysis, which is sort of a combination of observation and the model. And uh, uh, the statistical nuance is, is what a uh, statistician can contribute because we can um, make, uh, we can use the uh, technique from the spatial and spatial temporal to uh, make the better picture about the underlying size. So, so that is where uh, the uh, most interesting, and I, I feel that's the most uh, exciting aspect that uh, statistician can contribute. Kathy, your thoughts on some of the challenges? And yeah, so, so, so these are large scale models, and so we, you know, as statisticians, we need to be working in the space of large scale models. If you think about uh, looking all over the globe and how the globe changes, that's a lot of data points. and. Um, and, but our, our discipline has developed the methodologies to, to integrate the information across all these different spectrums of data. And, and I think that that's just, that's just so important. And, and we also uh, come up with uncertainty measures about how, how what we, you know, we, we don't only give an estimate of what's going on in a specific location, but what is the uncertainty around that estimate? What kind of advice, Kathy, would you have for young uh, young students coming up to maybe say, consider our field or the expertise here. <laughs> There's many ways that you can uh, have an impact in statistics and uh, understanding the climate and the changing climate is an important component. But also if you bring that down to the community level, that would be also a place where, where statisticians can help. We've got to learn to live with this changing climate. And so like my, much of my work focuses on Mitigate, mitigating the challenges that we're facing and what can we do at the local level uh, to achieve that. Such an important topic. Thank you both so much for taking the time to talk with us. Thank, Thank you. you. Yes.